Don't forget it. If that was my test as a 17 year old, it went like that, and you now said I'd failed, I think I'd be raging. Because from my perspective, it felt like that, that was good. You've failed your test. Failed. Forget it. Oh dear. Hey guys, in this week's driving test video, we have an experienced driver who should pass the driving test. So this is Jake, who's been driving for how long? More than 10 years now. So more than 10 years, Jake. Do you think you've got what it takes to pass a driving test? See, that's the, I'd say I'm probably quite a good driver, but you always hear people say, you know, you learn what you need to learn to pass the test, then you forget it. So I'm interested in knowing whether my experience is gonna make it a breeze or whether I'm gonna forget everything's gonna be a disaster. A car crash, you could say. So what do you think of your all driving? You think you, you drive safely on every... What, I think I, I'm quite calm, read the road quite well, but if I'm somewhere I've never driven before, such as Wolves, yep. not the best on the signs, the lanes can get a bit, you know, a bit dependent on my, my Google Maps, which when I was learning to pass didn't have it, whereas now I'm sort of just looking like, oh, which lane should I be in? <laughs> Saying that 10 years ago, you wouldn't have had uh, a couple of things that are now on the driving test. One, following the sat-nav. Right, yeah. okay. So that, and did you, you wouldn't have done the show me, tell me questions either? No. If you get the tell me question wrong, as Jake does here, it's a minor driving fault. Not a good way to start the driving test. That doesn't ring a bell. Cool. So um, tell me what, what are you going to show me? <laughs> What I tell you? <laughs> so, right, one of the uh, questions you asked at the start of the test is called the tell me question. So, could you tell me how you check your brakes are working before starting a journey? Uh, what, so I can't turn on the engine and just, just tell me? Um, I'd probably just turn on the engine, press the brakes, see if the brake lights come on. Brake lights, so it wasn't a question about the brake lights, about the actual brakes. Right. So you're saying the lights could come on but the brakes might not be working. Hmm. Maybe I would... What if I was on a slope and I took the handbrake off and then pressed the brakes? And if I started to roll, crank the handbrake on. <laughs> that would probably work. And what if they weren't working? You go... Get that handbrake on. Cool. Quick time. If that's not okay. working as well, okay, we're in trouble. Yeah. Right. Good, good, good attempt. Yeah, but the correct answer is you would um, press the brake pedal and make sure it doesn't feel spongy or slack. That's the two right. words you're looking for. And when you do brake, you know, you set off, you would um, test the brakes and the car should have pulled to one side. If the car pulls to one side, I mean, your brakes are full to you. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When you said spongy then, it like tweaked a memory from... 10 plus years ago, I was like, yeah, sponge, I think I, I think I need Yeah, that. I'm sure today's uh, drive test is going to tweak a lot of memories. <laughs> okay. You know what the main one is? I'm, I'm feeling the, a knot in my stomach. I thought, you know, the DVLA presumably aren't going to take my license off me if I fail. But as soon as I sat here in this dynamic with you there, with your hands like this, looking at me, I'm, I feel judged. I feel nervous. Yeah. It's not good. And the world's going to know how, how much of a good or bad driver you are. Okay. If, if it goes really badly and my license is at risk, I will have to destroy the recordings. <laughs> right. Are we ready? Yeah. Let's yeah. Do it. So we're going to treat this like a driving test. Yeah. I'm not going to help you out in any way. Okay, yep. and we'll uh, discuss the good points and the bad points during the feedback at the end. Yep. Ready? Let's do this. Let's go. Seatbelt. Another one. Unlike the actual driving test, I might make um, the odd little joke and comment out of nervousness. I That's didn't do cool. that in the real test, I was just like, there's this one, I'm just gonna, for my, to keep myself calm, I'm just gonna chat shit the whole time. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> and one last thing, right? Sorry, I forgot to say. Coming into this, because the whole idea was to test, basically to get an idea of the average driver on the road who's passed the test, would they pass the test now if they reset it? So I'm wondering, should I drive exactly like I normally do, or should I try and drive as if I'm trying to pass? My recommendation would be is to drive, to try and pass this... Uh driving test <laughs> yeah sure that makes sense <laughs> okay. but do you think I will would the average do you think the average person who's been driving for more than 10 years could just pass the test like this no right so even if I try 
most likely I'm going to fail. In my opinion and my experience, you have a sat with experienced drivers, I've trained people who want to become driving instructors, and I find there's always something that. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to give it my best then. Cool. See how it goes. Air signal maneuver, that was a thing. That was a thing. I indicate when I normally wouldn't hear. Looking at the blind spot. We're at the test centre here. Lots of nervous people around. Already, by the way, I've defaulted to one hand on the wheel. Before signalling, you should always check the mirrors. The centre mirror followed by the left or right side mirror depending on which direction you will be turning. This is what we call the mirror signal manoeuvre routine. This is one of those faults that Jake does quite a few times and on a real driving test it would turn into a serious driving fault. Saying that, he does start checking the side mirrors later on into the test. On hand turn on. left please. Alright, okay. Not very, not very chatty this invigilator. I used to be quite friendly before the test. At the end of the road, turn right please Jake. Oh, Pim, we used to be friends. Now you're so stern. I'm in examiner mode. You're now. cold. When emerging out of a T junction, always check both sides and only pull out when you're 100% sure it's safe. Jake carries out good observations. See, the whole point of these uh, mock driving tests is to get my learners ready for the actual driving test. I'm not saying all examiners are gonna be like this. Yeah, most are really friendly, but just in case. That's good. It adds an element of realism. Could you just uh, pop on the back wipe wiper for me? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, well I've never driven this vehicle before. No, oh yeah, a little, little clean as well there. You just cleaned it, you didn't put on the wiper. But the wiper did go to clean it off, didn't it? Yeah, but well that's cool. Right. Can you do it without the cleaning? It's a twist. Thank you. That's similar to one of the show me questions, that is. Right, okay. Not an exact show me question, but yeah. That's what the show me question involves. At the traffic lights, turn left, please. The signal should be applied around six car lengths before the turn. He signals too late. So Jake, did you pass your driving test first time? So, what I did was... I'll take that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree with that, that adage that the, the best drivers pass second time? <laughs> Basically, so I was, let me answer more questions. I was really keen to pass as soon as possible. So I, I looked up tests wherever the nearest one was available, which was in a different town, and I went and I failed. Um, for not checking my blind spot. So keep an eye out for that today. So again, you're blaming the town for the town or was it your blind spot check? <laughs> well, the invigilator felt it was the blind spot check. I felt I would, you know, it's like a big away game. I'd have won at home. Here Jake eases off the accelerator and slows down when there was really no need to. The lights were green. Um, but uh, past second time. And that changed my life. Going to college in the, my Citroen C1. Like king of the world. <laughs> it is a big moment. No more bus. Lights. Yeah, it's massive. Not relying on your parents all the time. The bus, the notepads out. I don't know whether that means I've failed or something's coming. Turn right, please. No clues from the invigilator. This right turn is on a sharp bend and many drivers get confused with the positioning and steer too early, not looking out for the oncoming vehicles. Jake approaches, positions and observes well. Flash anyone out because I believe that's not the done thing. Bit of a blind right turn there. As Jake parks up here, he touches the curb. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left, please. Ooh. I mean, is it safe? I don't know if it's safe. It's kind of, I wouldn't park it normally, but it's not double yellow. Drop the engine off? No, it's fine. 
Hand me your thing, you ready, please? Okay. A waste of time. We didn't even do anything. Let this guy go past. Not risking that. Blind spot. Checking my blind spot. Okay, everyone. Should have done that in my test. Just shouted blind spot every time I did it. Now here's another fault that Jake made frequently and would have turned into a serious fault on a real driving test. This was getting too close to vehicles when stopping behind them. You should leave a couple of meters just in case the vehicle in front rolls back or breaks down so you have enough space. Bit of a tester on the old clutch control there. Uh, I would be shitting on a real test if this happened. Could you get a minor or a major for just chatting shit the whole time? Not really, but <laughs> to be honest, if, if you know the examiner, you can do what he wants, really. Yeah. <laughs> this stop sign he notices and remembers to fully stop the car. So we've got to stop here. Complete stop. What do you think, uh, what would you say the worst thing that's happened when you're driving could have been on your driving test or even after you passed in your 10 years of driving? Um, my worst experience, is that what you're saying? Yep. Um, when I lived in Australia actually I was asked to drive a grape lorry. Um, a grape lorry? <laughs> yeah, I was working on farms Okay. and it was like a lorry with like um, open sides with just stacks of grapes on it and I took the corner like I would in this car because it was so high and there's wind the whole thing like wobbled nearly flipped on the side <sighs> nearly flipped nearly but I, we got two wheels off the ground oh, wow. I, I thought I thought that was a game over and I would <laughs> I'd have to work on the farm for the rest of my life to pay for the grapes because <laughs> it was touch and go <laughs> that was very scary after that, I took every corner, like basically two miles an hour. So you learned something from it. Yeah, I learned. I learned. That's amazing. Driving a great lorry is not the same as driving a Fiat 500. Is that your normal car? No, <laughs> that's what I passed my test in. Fiat 500, yeah, a little cream Fiat 500. Now I'm going to ask Jake to do the reverse parallel parking maneuver. And now, if you could do the reverse parallel parking. Maneuver using the car in front. Yeah. So pull up next to it and then park um, okay. nice and close to the pavement. Yeah. And you, you know when you finish up, you don't have to finish really close to that car. You can leave about this much space or even a bit more. Yeah. Okay. About a car then. I'm gonna be honest with you. This bit I was very nervous about because in my life now, unless there's a huge gap, I'm not going for it. Sometimes there's a gap outside the house that's more than ample. <laughs> and my missus goes, where's the car? And I was like, no, didn't fancy that problem. <laughs> didn't fancy it. Because there's nothing like the stress of when you know you've messed it up and there's a car on the road and it's so embarrassing. Um, I'm so sure yeah, I, this is an unpracticed skill, this is gone. I'm sure many people can relate, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's so let's, it's let's see how it goes. It's also, you've, you've done me there with that car. Deliberate ploy, I think. Just in case another car comes, there's gonna be huge pressure. Right, so you pull up alongside. Oh fuck, see, so look at how the cars come. He carries out good all round observations, including the blind spot check before our vehicle swings out, which I wasn't really expecting. But he finishes a bit wide from the pavement. You would just get away with this much distance on the test. You knew that was going to happen. I don't even know how you put the brake in unless you pull that up. Or you yeah, you just pull that up. up, yeah. It's in. This is put me under pressure. Shit, it's not in. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Sorry. And then you've got to fully lock on. That's wide. <laughs> I'm going to just have a break. Let this guy go past. I reckon you've got about a foot to your left there. Is it bad? You done, yeah? Well, what happens if I have another go? Is that allowed? Or does it not matter? It's totally it did me dirty. I knew there was, was a blockage there so the other car couldn't go past. So I had to act quick. And now I reckon I'm 
really far away from the pavement. So are you done? But what have, if, I, if, if I got it wrong, does it matter if I do it right the next time? You only get one attempt. Yeah, so now I'm done then. Yeah, you're done, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, it's, if I've already messed it That's up. That's fine. M uh, move off when you're ready. Can I, can I have a look how wide it is? Yeah, you can do, yeah. Do I not really know? Okay. Fuck off. You get a bus through there. <laughs> <laughs> There's the test gone. Poof! It's because he put me there. I had to put, otherwise, the car would have gone past. I'd have taken my time and I'd have absolutely nailed it. But as it was, I had to panic. I just wanted to get out of the way. So I made an executive decision as an experienced driver to just get out of the way, okay? An executive... So if, an ex uh, yeah, as an, an experienced driver. An executive decision as an experienced driver to park a four. <laughs> Not to park, just to, to make park, way right. for traffic. Oh, okay, cool. Right, we all think you ready, please, Jake? All right. Oh, God, well, you know what? I've kind of um, lost interest now. I'm going to get reckless. <laughs> I did know the pilot. I'm going to go there. Just let you know, you can get away with that much gap in your test. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not in real life. That's surprising, I thought. Because it's kind of, well, I guess it's a wide road, but you don't want to be blocking traffic. My, my girlfriend wouldn't let me go away with that. Because she knows about my bad parallel parking. In fact, she came out to that, she'd say, what on earth is that? Wouldn't hear the end of it. What a word of advice. Like I said, you, 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 uh, you get the one at ten, but you can readjust your position. Ah. Oh. That wasn't clear. <laughs> but I, I didn't say you can't read it. <sighs> On this dual carriageway, Jake doesn't notice the speed limit signs. The speed limit is 40 and he's driving at 30 miles per hour. That's the thing I've noticed already in this speed limits. I rely on my Google Maps to tell me speed limits and I'm struggling to find signage. you find it if you look for it. <laughs> I'm scouring. Play it safe and generally floating around 30. That's not to say I haven't been in a few 20 or 40 zones, unaware. Well, you can get you can get um, miners and so on for going too slow as well, can't you? You can actually fail for going too slow. Yeah. If you're actually affecting other drivers of the world, you keep doing it. I think that's what happened to my partner. I think in the feedback they said people have to get on with their day, which is pretty embarrassing. So you, you both fell first time? Yeah. Yeah. There's something in common there then. Yeah. About it. <laughs> Jake is doing well so far and hasn't picked up a serious fault. But that's all about to change as he ends the test with six serious faults. Hooray! So this course really filled my knowledge gaps and I became more confident. After watching some of the videos on the course, I felt really comfortable with the extra knowledge. Before I passed my driving test, I was really nervous. It really helped me have more confidence and I would take what I learned during the course into my lessons and really aid that. The videos obviously help you because you're going into that lesson knowing exactly what you're going to do and just having that knowledge just makes that lesson faster and you feel a lot better. 38 easy to understand, precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the manoeuvres and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something or you're just not grasping a certain topic then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons, which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. After this bend, there's a right turn. If you could turn right there, please. Okay. Just going up now. This is an interesting turn. smart car learner there. Very embarrassing indeed. This road that we are turning into is a one-way street. Jake does notice this. When turning right at the end of a one-way road, you should position on the right hand side. Jake is positioned too far to the left. He actually thought he had done well and called it a masterclass. Okay, at the end of the road, if you could turn right please. 
way here. Give way. Poor visibility. I'm gonna creep out. Oh, there we go, see? That's why you creep out, learners. Oh, and he needs to go here, and I would flash him, but no, he can't get round. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, was that my fault? I don't think so. I think that was a masterclass. <laughs> He's going right here. I didn't do anything wrong. I crept out. Yeah, remember, that was the one way, so I couldn't come through there anyway. Exactly, exactly. It was a masterclass. I was just nervous. Yeah, nervous course. gibberish. But, excellent driving. Good way, could go out in a second. I'm not going to. Okay, now I'm gonna actually do the emergency stop, yep. Yeah? Okay. Keep driving for now. Yeah. Now, during this emergency stop, I marked two serious faults. Firstly, the braking was just too slow and gentle. It should be firm and the car should come to a stop promptly. The second one was for observations. After stopping, you have to check both blind spots before moving off. Jake doesn't check. Well, what do I do? I'm just gonna do it exactly as I Stop! And move off when you're ready, please. I don't know if that was right. Probably should have pulled in a bit. I don't know. Or do you just have to stop? I don't know. I don't remember. What you can't deny is the vehicle came to a, a quick stop. Turn left, please. Hmm, not sure about that. I'm not sure at all. Again, when stopping, he scrapes the curb. For some reason, Jake thinks that's fine, as the car is nice and tight, in his words. And if you could uh, park up. Uh, on the left, please. A little bit of curb there, but that's nice, nice and tight. And at the end of the road, turn left, please. What is this clown doing? Hazard! Strange place to stop. Shouldn't be doing that on my test. Get the reverse lights on. Looks a bit like your. Parallel parking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, little dig from the invigilator there. Not very professional. But he's testing my character. I like it. <laughs> Do you think you'd pass your test if you did it tomorrow? 100%. <laughs> It'd be so embarrassing if you did it. You'd have to, you'd have to end your driving course. Shut down yep. all your operations. I totally agree. So when you're normally driving though, say it wasn't for a test, do you drive like someone who could, like, in the same way you would if you were in a test? No comment. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're going to finish off with some roundabouts. We haven't done any roundabouts so far. Let's uh, see what you like on roundabouts. Alright, that dawned on me actually. Let's see. This is what you do to someone that's so cruel. They're probably thinking, oh, it's just gone okay. This, like, yeah, I've got really lucky. There's been no roundabout then. Right. Let's see how much you want this license. Yeah, not making you your own bed, so hopefully there is something positive coming at you driving. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay, we're gonna follow some signs now. Alright. To Dudley, please. Dudley? Yeah, Dudley? So. Yep. Alright. So I'll keep following the signs to Dudley until I say otherwise. Okay, okay. Old school driving. This first roundabout he does well, but then misses the sign to Dudley at the next roundabout so isn't sure which way to go. If this happens, then it's fine to ask beforehand. Jake ends up going the correct way, which is right third exit, but doesn't signal right on the approach to the roundabout. And we're off. No more signs to Dudley! <laughs> Shit! Um, well, it's not there. Fuck, I fucked it. Where was the sign? Where's fucking Dudley? Let's go round and round and find out. 
I'm guessing it's down here. Feels feels Dudley-ish. Dudley, this way, coming off. God, I miss you, Google Maps. Staying in this right-hand lane would be a serious fault, as this lane is for overtaking or turning right. Jake moves to the left lane in time. If you could turn right and take the fourth exit. Okay, he's making me do maths now, I don't like maths. At this roundabout, Jake does something I always recommend. He counts the exits. A good example. I can't see around this bush. One exit. Two exits. Three exits. We're coming off here. Four exits. 50 miles an hour. Turn left into this car park. We're off to Matalan as a reward for passing my test again. You buy me a jumper. Right, just as a bonus manoeuvre, we're going to finish off with the reverse bay parking. So if you drive forward... Yep, it's this cloud here. You do only get one manoeuvre on the driving test, but I'm going to ask Jake to finish off with the reverse bay parking, seeing as the parallel parking wasn't the best. He picks up another two serious faults when doing this. First one for observation, as he doesn't check the right blind spot before our vehicle swings out. And then when stopping, he hits a curb behind. Stop anywhere around here now. That's fine, and reverse into any one of these bays. Bonus manoeuvre, what a treat. Yeah, you'll normally get one manoeuvre because you did so well with the reverse parking. <laughs> Let's finish off with another one. So I wouldn't normally go the sharper right angle to do a reverse part, but whatever. Good ones. <laughs> what kind of bleepers are them? <laughs> Switch off the engine, please. Now it's time for the feedback, and Jake walks out the car, but he was just having a laugh. Overall, I think he was great and very entertaining. Thank you. Take it. Left the wipers on, which is really annoying for the next driver. <laughs> Should be a minor. All right, Jake. This that's was done. <laughs> <laughs> this is done. That's the end of the test. Laugh, it's not professional. Uh, right. Okay. So um before you break the right, news. let's get back into um professional mode now. Yeah, how do you think you did? Well, the invigilator laughed at the end of the test. <laughs> which um seems to be a bad sign I would say. No, maybe he just I thought that was a smooth maybe just saying you're funny. Smooth hazardless drive. We were never I didn't feel like we were at danger. It was lovely, lovely time, lovely chat, smooth drive. You know, you get in some people's car and you're like, stop, start, you feel a bit sick, you don't feel safe. I think you felt safe. You were laughing because you were so relaxed. No, um, to be honest, I didn't feel under any danger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> which is a, what a lovely review. <laughs> which is a plus point, yeah, for someone that's experienced and been driving for 10 years. But the key <laughs> question is, do you think you passed or failed? If I say I let you off with the reverse parallel parking, yeah? Well, like the equation, yeah. Well, you, yeah, you said that would have been, yeah, would that so have not been a minor. Not, yeah, you would have been a fault there, yeah. A minor. Okay, but I'm gonna let you off. Uh, uh, the 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 front of the car was probably more than, yeah, but you could have like, if you had known, you could readjust. Like you said, I, I said you have one attempt, but you can readjust. I didn't say you can readjust, but right, you can. Yeah. yeah. So like, okay. if it was the real world, then I wouldn't have got out of the car and left it out of. I'd have had another go. Yeah, that's, that's you gonna, yeah. But I thought you were saying it's it's done now, so okay. I left it. Cool. Um, if that was my test as a 17 year old, it went like that, and you now said I'd failed, I think I'd be raging because I'd have thought I nailed it. For the uh, overall? Yeah, if that was overall, because from my perspective, it felt like that, that was good. But just sensing your vibe, I feel like I've not passed. So before you tell me, can we have a little little drum roll? 
and Jake, um, happy to tell you that you've failed your test. <laughs> so I'm not happy, but yeah, just... Uh, <laughs> just failed? <laughs> yeah, failed. So, the reasons for the fail? Reasons? Failed. Forget it. Oh dear. <laughs> I'll come back in, hopefully. Actually, I want the feedback. <laughs> And I like the GoPro. That's fine, don't well, worry about the GoPro. Don't need it anymore. Yeah, we can uh, we keep Sorry, that I'm there. so angry I destroyed your camera equipment. <laughs> okay, so are you ready for the feedback? Yes. Yeah. So you gonna <laughs> you don't mean you were on about um you're doing well um you know with the the one way street where you're like, oh that was a master class. Yeah. Yeah, so you're on a one way. Yeah. You have a choice of two lanes. If yeah. you're turning right at the end of the road. Which side of the road should you use? Yeah, I'm on the right. Which one were you using? I think I was kind of in the middle. <laughs> yeah, use more to the left anyway, yeah. Yeah, okay. but did you did you tell me in enough time I was turning right? Yeah, of course. Sure. <laughs> Watch it back. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you only told me the last second. So, that, you agree with that fault? Well, I'll have to watch the footage back. <laughs> okay. Would that be a minor or a major? Major. Major. Yeah. That's what the major is for. I'm not even talking about your minors yet. Oh, so that was one major, was it? Yeah, that was the major, and then there was another. Shit, so uh, then there was another um, three reload. Two you got for the emergency stop. So the emergency stop, yeah. Two minors for that, yeah. Two series. Uh, well, uh, what? So what's that mean? <laughs> well, you would have failed for so that. So three stop. majors. Yeah. Uh, so far, we haven't finished yet. Uh, you got. <laughs> so so. <laughs> so three reasons, three majors already. So with the emergency yeah. stop, yeah. Examiner's made just mark his one overall, yeah, but I've done his two individual series faults there. One, your braking, you said that braking was amazing. <laughs> that was so slow. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody ran out in front of you, you would have, yeah, you would have gently run them over. <laughs> okay, so that was yeah, so smooth. I'd rather run over a kid than someone go at the back of my car. <laughs> Totally the wrong answer. Okay, right. It's supposed to be the other way around, yeah? I'm sure he meant to say the other way around. Yeah, there. that's what I meant. Slip of the tongue. Okay, right. So, firstly, the braking should be a lot more firmer. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then, when you move off, after an emergency stop, you're supposed to check both blind spots. Fucking blind spots, man. Yeah. God, I'm getting deja vu. Yeah. And then, so, that's that's the three faults. Then the fourth one, when I actually follow signs to Dudley, Okay, uh, guys, tip for anyone that's, um, that's going for the test. If you miss a sign, just ask beforehand, and the examiner will tell you which way it is. Yeah. Right. So you missed it, and you were like, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, but you still went the correct way. But at that roundabout, yeah, Dudley was right there at, exit, at the second roundabout. So as you approach, your, uh, as you approach the roundabout, which signal should you have had on? Right. Yeah. So no signal at a big major roundabout. Other vehicles around. Serious fault. Okay, yeah, okay. harsh, harsh yeah, that, that one. one. A lot of people are going to think harsh. it's harsh, but I'll mark these because I've had, in the past, my learners do that, yeah? I've had some learners do it, no one's around them let them off, but on other occasions, exactly the same fault, right. different situation, so... Better I'll, mark harsh. I will always mark harsh, yeah? Okay. Okay, so that would be a serious fault. And finally, this uh, reverse bay parking, two serious faults on this. Two? Yeah. Well, I hit the curb. Exactly. Well, so I was expecting the beepers to go off. I thought so, this is a nice car. It'll go beep, beep, beep. Again, just be... You should have been a bit more cautious. If you're not sure, there's a camera there anyway, which you could have used as well, yeah. Okay, but you could just... Even if you stop about that far from it, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. sure. But hitting the curb, again, I've had people say, oh, I've hit the curb, um, the pavement, and I got away with it, yeah. Okay, but what if there's no curb and there's a bay line and there's a car park behind? Yeah, probably wouldn't have relied on the beefers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the other thing, all oh, less you like blind spot, blind spot, <laughs> blind spot. Here, yeah. when you swing out on any of the maneuvers, you did it okay on the uh, reverse parallel parking. You just look in this way. You swung, swung out. Yeah, before you swing out, you're supposed to check the blind spot. You didn't check it here. <sighs> I hate blind spots. People who can't see beyond this vehicle, we're in a ghost town. I know this is about practicing to do it properly. There's no one anywhere. <laughs> but again, that's that's not an excuse. Blind spots, You're man. supposed to be demonstrating that you know what to do after you pass. Yeah, I yeah. Know. Well, actually, I you have passed, but... 
Let's take. Do you want to? Do you want to hold on? Second. What's that? It's my license. Oh. I'll get, I'll oh. get the bus again. Oi. That ain't you. It is me. Yeah, you have to think I actually haven't passed my test now. No way. Yeah. That's uh, life's it, been tough. If I've ever seen a fake license, mate, that's it. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be that. Should <laughs> no, not really. Address and everything. Right, Jake. Anything else you got to so add? How many? How many pages is that? So you had. It started off with the uh, one-way street. Yeah. Then we had two for the emergency stop. That's three. Then you had the fourth for the signal on the roundabout. Yeah, and another two I've given you here for the observations oh. and hitting the curve. The, so, sure, it sounds six. bad. Go yeah, ten years driving experience, six majors. Yeah. Sure, that's the headline. But we break it down. This was a bonus manoeuvre. Wouldn't have happened. That's two gone. Two gone. The Dudley roundabout. Everyone online knows it. That was controversial call. I'm wiping that one. The one-way stop. We'll have to watch it back. Did you tell me which way I was going in time? Some people aren't sure. Cool. Like that one. And then what is this? Two for the emergency stop, which again, didn't trust, didn't want to damage your car. It was just being gentle. Yeah. Um, so if you think, if you do the maths there, it's no majors, which would be a pass. But well, if that makes you feel good about yourself, Jake, well, then you pass your driving test. Fantastic. Thank <laughs> okay. you so much. Cool. And and there you so go. It just goes to show. <laughs> With a lot of experience, you can, you too can pass your test. What about minors? Okay, minors, um, just two you need to focus on. Mirrors before signalling. Mirror yeah. signal manoeuvre. Your manoeuvres when exiting a roundabout were good. You even said at the start, oh, mirror signal manoeuvre. Oh, yeah, I remember that. But then every time you were signalling, you know, before um, before a uh, turn, you weren't checking your, you did towards the end start checking it a couple of times, but that was a consistent, um, Mind so I'm signalling and then looking at my mirrors yeah, instead well, of... Sometimes you weren't even looking at the mirrors. But when it matters, when changing lanes, exiting roundabouts, you're checking them. Right. Yeah. But if you just... Right. Yeah, but if you were on your test, and that would be a consistent minor which would have been turned into a serious. And the other one is, you know when you're pulling up behind another car in traffic? Yeah. Way too close. Oh, really? Yeah. You're leaving about that much space. Yeah. Right. Just think, what if they break down? Yeah. And someone's done the same to you behind, you're going to be stuck there. Right. Okay, so just keep a couple of meters, and that yeah. was happening happening consistently. I didn't mark it as a serious. Yeah, right. Yeah, because okay. those are okay. these th those right, are common mistakes that uh, you know people have been driving for years do make. Right. But Jake, thank you very much for coming down to do the mock test and being really entertaining. <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you found that video useful and definitely entertaining. And like always, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Ha <laughs> <laughs>